Relax, it's still me. I'm just growing a beard. My life is a diamond. On a baseball diamond, the base paths are 90 feet. It is 60.5 feet to the pitcher's mound where he stands. What do we want to know? We want to know how far it is from where he stands to first base and where he stands to second base. In order to do that, we're going to need to use the law of cosines. The law of cosines. Yeah. All right. So I'm drawing a triangle. And I'm going to label that triangle with the sides little a, little b, little c. And the angles big A, big B, big C. And we see that, no, not that, that C squared is A squared plus B squared minus 2AB times the cosine of the angle between them, which is going to be big C. And now we see that on our baseball diamond, if we're looking at pitcher to first, we don't know that distance there, but we do know the base pad is 90 and it's 60.5 feet there. Well, now, the key is, how big is the angle from the pitcher to, well, the catcher and first base? 45 degrees, because that split that 90 in half. S so we employ the law of cosines. 60.5 squared plus 90 squared minus 2 times 60.590 times the cosine of the angle between them, 45. Now when we pound this out, we're going to get x squared. x squared turns out to be... 4,059.6-ish, check me on that. We take the square root and we find that that's going to be about 63.7-ish feet. So it's 63.7-ish feet from pitcher to first, but what about pitcher to second? Let's reconfigure our diamond, because our life is like a diamond. The base paths are 90 feet from home to first and first to second, and what do we know? The pitching distance is 60.5. We're trying to find that distance there, D. And we refer to a 45-45-90 triangle. Why not make it easy? That says if the sides are A, then the hypotenuse is going to be A roots of 2. Now, let's relabel with the configuration we have. 90 for one base path, 90 for another base path. That is going to be 90 roots 2 from home base to second. That's how far the catcher would have to throw. All right, now, we do know that D is um, that far. All right, so we subtract off 60 from both sides, and then our distance D turns out to be, wait for it, 60.8. Great. It was right there in the palm of your hand. Sprinkle it. Go ahead.